Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Steep Open Beta on the GeForce TTX 1060 6GB for PS Modern. I'll be using Cam. If you want to learn how to use it, click on the top right corner of the video where the Cam logo is, or check the description below if you want to learn more. So, Steep Open Beta, I'll do 1080p, 1440p, and 4K to skip to any of those sections of the video, check the description below. So, for 1080p, I'm going to be using the maximum settings with tempo filtering, and I'm getting over 60. FPS just fine, then I'll test with 2 times MSAA and for 1440p and 4K I overclocked the GTX 1060, check the description below to know how much. On 1440p it was possible to get 60fps too but I had to lower some settings and on 4K it was not possible even at the lowest setting so I targeted 30fps and the game ran fine at that frame rate but in my opinion it's better to run it at 60, it's much more responsive and easy to control. Now I'm going to talk about some of the options that you can tweak in order to get better performance so you know what they do. So for First of all, yes, I'm using a controller, an Xbox 360 controller on my PC, that's why the Xbox prompts show up. And I'm going to talk about some of the options you might want to know about in this game. In the options menu you can see the difference between the graphic settings by looking at the picture at the right, which is awesome, more games should have this. When you just put the mouse over the option and it will show you the difference between the two, so you have an idea what you're doing to the game. The options don't do much to the frame rate alone, so my suggestion is just lowering them in groups if possible. Environment quality is an important one, I suggest lowering that with shadow quality at the same time, so if you're using environment quality on ultra and shadow quality on ultra, just lower them both to high helps a lot to the frame rate. I mean occlusion, we have SSBC or none. If you turn that off, you'll get a good FPS boost. Then we have temporal filtering. Temporal filtering is the same option as on Rainbow Six Siege. It reconstructs the image using two of the frames. So you're using pretty much a lower resolution, but you are not really noticing it. I mean, you can notice it if you look for it, but it's very subtle. So I prefer using that than the actual resolution because again, the image looks much softer, which in my opinion looks better. And uh, it gives you a good FPS boost and uses less video memory. So I suggest you enable it. It looks good, just like on Rainbow Six Siege. Then on the anti-aliasing options, we have FXAA and FXAA+, not really a big hit to the frame rate. And the multi-sample anti-aliasing, if you're using temporal filtering, you cannot use MSAA, but if you use MSAA, it will be a big hit to the frame rate, so keep that in mind. And finally, we have anisotropic filtering, which is not a big hit to the frame rate either, at least on my end. But yeah, not much else to say. The game runs pretty good on all the cards I tested, but let's wait for the final game to release. It'll probably run very similar, since the game's release is very close. The FPS drops I found out were when going close to trees, so when you're very close to one of or many trees, you'll see an FPS drop. That's why I started just moving around places that had trees on them. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time.
Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 